This German company produces a wide variety of mouth-blown sheet glass. It's used to make contemporary wall light panels. It can also be used to make clear or stained glass windows. The company can make glass sheets in 5,000 different colors and textures. This furnace melts silica sand and other natural materials into glass. The starter begins by inserting the end of a blowpipe into a furnace. He takes a small amount of colorless molten glass out of the furnace and rotates it in a wooden mold. The mold is lined with heavy paper to soften the surface. Then he inserts a metal needle through the blowpipe to create a pathway for air. He returns to the furnace for more molten glass. The artisans make multiple trips to the furnace, shaping the molten glass in stages so it's easier to handle. This time, the assistant shapes the glass with a large mold. When the shape is set, the assistant prepares it for blowing. He uses a fork tool to push the glass to the top of the pipe. The starter rotates the glass in a larger paper-lined mold to round it further. The molten glass cools rapidly once it comes out of the furnace. If the temperature dips below 1800 degrees, it's no longer workable. So the team must work quickly and reheat the glass repeatedly. Another assistant lubricates the blowpipe, so it will rotate easily on the support stand. The starter hands the glass over to the master glass blower. First, he rotates the blowpipe to straighten and center the drooping glass. Then he begins turning and blowing into the pipe to gradually inflate the glass. This requires great physical strength, as well as tremendous artistic and technical skill. The pipe and glass weigh over 30 pounds combined. When the glass starts to cool, the assistant reheats it in a smaller oven. He passes the pipe back to the glass blower, who then resumes inflating it. This time he swings it upside down, using gravity to help elongate the shape. Next, he will transform the glass balloon into a cylinder. First, he reheats the tip of the glass and weakens it with a hot burner. Then he reheats the entire glass cylinder. This expands the air inside and forces the weakened tip open. The glass blower taps the opposite side of the hot glass with a cold metal stick. The thermal shock causes a neat stress break. This releases the glass from the blowpipe. Then the assistant slices it lengthwise with a glass cutter and hands it off to the flattening team. Their job is to transform this cylinder into sheet glass. The flattening master's assistant puts the cylinder into a furnace. It's heated to over 1500 degrees. The glass softens in about 30 minutes. Then the flattening master reaches into the opposite end of the furnace with a stick and gently opens the cylinder. Next, the flattening master irons the glass sheet with a special wooden tool. The flat sheet goes into the annealing oven for a gradual controlled cool down. This relieves stress and prevents cracking. The flattening master's assistant removes the glass from the annealing oven and performs a visual inspection. The last step is to cut the edges straight. To make multicolored and textured glass, they add additional ingredients during the melting process.